I need some clear defined feedback. My unfaithful husband, 10 months since the end of affair in all manners, Googled and looked up the affair partner's house on his phone, visual real estate site. He did this about two months ago at work without disclosing it to me. I found it when I looked through his phone after I asked permission to check his phone. He then defended his action by stating he wanted to see if the affair partner had moved so he could stop worrying about running into her by himself or with us as a family. I believe that he chose his need to know above disclosing the desire to look, act, and think about how it would appear if he hid the information, the trauma that it would inflict, because it was done again behind my back. I was not involved in the decision such as, would it hurt you if I looked up the affair partner's house to see if it was for sale? My answer would have been yes. That should have stopped him and shown he was able to prevent a possible trigger and openness. By finding out through searching his phone that he hid it sends me a strong, clear message that he's not safe or transparent when he's at work. I actually believe that he did hope it was for sale but also believe he went down memory lane, which was a part of why he hid his action. It destroys so much progress. I have two thoughts as I listen to your question. Uh, I think transparency applies, period, even if it's what I would call more of a slip in terms of going and checking, and then if you make that mistake, coming and reporting it, uh, I think would be important especially if there's been an agreement somewhere in those bottom line behaviors in that you know green light yellow light red light if any sort of contact or checking is in there obviously reporting something like that would be important um, so transparency i think when you say uh, when does it apply or not apply i think it applies anytime there's that sort of situation um, the thing I would wonder is he in any sort of men's group where he would be naturally talking about those things because I also find personally having a group of men I'm meeting with whether it's through something like Hope for Healing or whether it's a 12-step group like SAA or Celebrate Recovery or AA having groups like that where you're being rigorously honest about stinking thinking or just kind of thought process is important so that you don't move into self-deception and hold something back when you really need to be uh, talking about it. To me, that's probably a sign of self-deception where he was able to rationalize or justify um, what he was doing. And to me, that's just an indication that programmatically he needs to be involved with other people where he can talk about what's going on so other people can kind of help keep him online and say, hey, this is something that needs to be talked about. I said there were two things I was thinking, though. Uh, the second is you're making some assumptions, uh, kind of all or nothing thinking, and I understand why, uh, about his motives, uh, in particular, why he chose not to tell. Uh, I think you said here, um, by finding out through searching his phone that he hid it, he sends me the strong message that he's not safe or transparent when he's at work, and, and there may be truth to that. Here's, I actually believe that he did hope it was for sale, okay, but also believe he went down memory lane, which was a part of why he hit his actions. And I don't know if he went down memory lane. Uh, obviously, I don't think it was the right thing to do. Um, he may have gone down regret lane, wishing that the house was for sale. So I don't know what he thought, but be careful about assumed similarities. When you say, I believe, you can only assume ultimately that he's thinking or you can only kind of lay over how you would be thinking. I mean, all I know now is if you had an affair partner, you went and checked like that, it would send you down memory lane because you can only guess another person's motives or their actions by what it would be if you did the same thing. So that may or may not be true. I don't know. So at least hold that one a little loosely. And hopefully from this, he learns to get 
other things in place to make sure these things don't happen again.